Okay. Am I starting? Okay. So, hello everyone. So, for today's video, I'm going to show you how does my work at home setup looks like. So, this is how it looks like. I have a laptop, of course. I have all the basics, um, equipments and devices, just like my laptop for my um, classes, my online classes. By the way, I, I am an ESL teacher, by the way. So for those who were new here in my channel, I just want to share that I have been um, teaching as an ESL teacher for um, almost, I mean, almost three years now. So like two years and five months. So this is basically my setup. I just started way back 2018. In the month of November, I think. So that's where I started this work as an ESL teacher. So I have been teaching um, Chinese students and I have been in to two ESL companies already named me. I want talk and ABC 360. So I have been teaching their kids, um, teens, and also with adults. And sometimes it could reach their age. Uh, the range of their age could reach up to 50 years old or 60 or even 60 years old. So that's how broad our students are. In five one, both in five one talk and in ABC three sixty. So both companies are Chinese companies that um, have Chinese students, um, basically. But now five one talk have been um, become more global, which is good. And now we have more students outside. China, just like Japanese or any other Asian countries or even Western countries. So we, we do have that. So we've been teaching um, English language as their second language, which which they wanted to learn and to be practice more and be expert in the future, because maybe one of the reasons why they they pursue that or they do that is to have um, good communication skills so that whenever they plan to migrate or to go to other countries as tourists, then they can speak English. They can communicate with with the locals there. So we all know that English is the universal language. So it's a must, and especially for China. It's given that they're and they are a developed country. They're a progressive country, so they've been um, really battling when it comes to. I mean, they've been improving and developing so much when it comes to their um, communication to broaden their economies, their influence, and all of that. So go back to my video. I'm going to talk about what are the basic devices and equipments you needed to start for your own um, work at home setup. I'm very sorry for my background there because I was just um, near the door. It's like a mini office here in my house. I just have a small bedroom. So I decided to just have like a little player room. It's like um, having a role play here as a kid. So I'm just having a very small space, a little space for my work at home setup. So I have your laptop. I owned this laptop when I was just um, first year college, I think. This is just a second hand laptop, by the way. So this laptop is Dell with, um, with Windows 7 and with Core i3 and 4 GB. So that's it. That's that's like very cheap, and plus it's second hand, so it's really cheap. I just bought this for about twelve thousand, I think. And then, besides my laptop, I also have 
hear this one. This is very important. I have an external ca camera since my laptop is second hand. So the built in laptop is not really good. The quality is blurry and it's already dark. So I just bought an external laptop. This is an A4 tech with one AT. Ano bang tawag dun? Basta yung pinakama mataas na resolution ng external camera. So these costs like 1350 I just bought this in the mall. And I also have here, of course, a mouse, mouse pad, this USB ports right here. Ngulo, diba? So I have also here, this one is for the external camera I have. And then for, since, since I bought this laptop secondhand, so the other USB ports are not working really well. So I mean the 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 USB port built in on this laptop is not working really well. I just have this one here and the second one is here. So I need more um, USB ports so that I can make this one function. So I bought this at Shopee. Also this one. So this is like cost 250 with shipping there. Okay, and of course I have this desk. I'm sure this you're very familiar with this. This is very this is just also very cheap. It's like just 250. So so that's it. I have these set up here. So I have a small ceiling fan there. It's just like you have a clip, something like that. And then it just creates a small noise, so it's okay. By the way, I'm using a noise cancelling headset. It features noise cancelling, so it reduces the background noise that you have in your house, especially if you have if you live in just a tiny house and your neighbors are just are just very near. So you just you really need to buy this one. So it's MPAO. It only costs like one nine 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 something. So almost two k with I don't know, with shipping. Also, I bought this at Shopee. So everything was from Shopee. We're from Shopee. So I have this. I'm gonna have a little tour around this little office of mine. I am cemento na yan dyan. I also have this white background, so it is not it is not my usual background when I am working at five one dog as easel teacher. I I have set up this so that I can attend seminars, trainings because I have a break since it's a holiday in China. So I need I I have to attend trainings and all of that. So I made this myself. So basically just like that. And then my chair and my laptop bag. I also have here some, some toys, some art materials and all of that so that I can use it whenever I have very young students. So it's really helpful. And it's, some of these are very old. It's already I have already, as I've said, I have already been teaching for almost three years. So, ayan, so madumi. Ayan, gulo. Ayan, so this is just basically how it looks like. So you, so now you already have a, a background, a little background, so that you can start your own work work at home setup it's very convenient and i strongly advise everyone to try this online work especially esl teaching anyways you can start even if you don't have um a bachelor's degree some other companies accept accept um undergrad students as long as you are good or you're fluent in english enough you're you're good enough to communicate in English, just the neutral accent, the straight English neutral accent. That's already okay. So you can do that. Then you can apply. All 
you need is your devices, your equipment, just the basics, just what I have showed you, those things. So that's already a good start. So you just have to practice, search the company you wanted to apply, and then uh, prepare in advance. Prepare for some tutorials. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's readily available at um, YouTube. So you can look for it. You can look for some tips, some hacks, so that you will be more confident and ready and well prepared the time you started your application. And also, I'm going to share with you the link down below in the description below and on the comment section. I will be very happy to guide you and answer all your inquiries, your questions, and your clarifications. So once again, I think that ends my daily vlog today. I hope you learned something and I'm very sorry for my wrong grammar and wrong pronunciation so i'm not i am not a native speaker so it's it's just okay so if there's someone there watching who is really really not that good at english it's okay you can practice that one you can improve and develop that one as long as you are willing to as long as you're willing to do that or to start so just keep on going Keep on fighting and keep on aiming and dreaming big, dreaming high, so that in the end you will win. You will reach your goals and you will achieve your dreams in the future for yourself and for your family. Okay. Goodbye. And please don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everyone.